Hi, this is Ruben, back with the second part of my blog series, Search Engine. Today, I'll be going over meta search engines. The three meta search engines that I have for review today are Dogpile, iXQuick, and Mama. Many of you have asked me, what is a meta search engine? Well, a meta search engine essentially uses your search query and it searches other search engines, in this case, Google, Yahoo, and Bing, and the search result brings back the aggregate of the searches from those three search engines. So one search engine searches many search engines. That's what a meta search engine does. So for this particular website, it is Dogpile. It has and looks very similar to some of the major search engines in terms of what you can search for. Web, images, video, news, local, white pages. Some of them do not have all these options. We'll look at iXQuick. iXQuick has images, videos, and phone. So this one has a news tab, so it has one or two maybe extra functionalities in its search. Mama has a few, but they don't even work. I'll go over that shortly. So I like to always look at the advanced search to see what kind of options we have to filter out. We see we can include a number of words. Uh, we can include an exact phrase. Whereas in Google, we might use quotations for this. Any of a uh, particular amount of words. Uh, we can perform exclusion. Uh, include a domain, exclude a domain, change the language. So I will just perform a basic search for Ron Paul. First thing we notice here is uh, the top half of the page is covered by ads. This is typical among meta search engines. Uh, you'll see ads, they need sponsoring, they need money, but uh, it's okay, we can live with that. Uh, we see here the first one, two, three, four, five links here are, are sponsored ads. I've searched for this term earlier and the bottom five are also sponsored ads. So essentially we have 20 results per page and half of them are sponsored ads. And uh, it's not totally clear because they, they look very similar to the non-sponsored ads. So I don't like that too much because you might end up clicking on it, uh, but it might not be as relevant as what you're looking for or organic as we like to say. So there are only 10 organic results in this result page. Uh, we see that the search engine found them on, found this particular link on three search engines. So this is the functionality of a meta search engine, searching many. Uh, but this particular website I don't like too much. Uh, doesn't help or provide me additional information to filter out what I want to click on, uh, such as a date or the amount of, of results that were found. That's pretty typical and standard. Uh, these little things or any starring system or a preview. So I'm not really helped by the search engine in giving the supporting information to click on a particular link. Uh, it's kind of it's more like uh, taking a stab in the dark and seeing if this is a uh, potentially what I, what I was looking for. So I don't like it because it does not help me uh, narrow my result. So I am going to move on to the next, so, and it's also plastered with ads. 50% of which are ads, only 10 being organic results. So I will go ahead and skip to Mama. Mama is also a meta search engine. 
But I found the functionality is uh, very wonky, if not flat out buggy. I'll show you an example. I'll select news and type net neutrality. So we have search ahead term and we click search. But surprise, surprise, we have no search results. That to me is a big bug with the search engine. Net neutrality is a hot topic in the news. There should definitely be some search results for that term. Same goes for Ron Paul. It's part of the presidential 2012 uh, election race. And we'll select enter and there's no search results. This to me was a big red flag. The one, and I'll go ahead and skip to the one that I, the one search that I find useful which is jobs. I am a quality assurance technician, so I'll type quality assurance. Using IP detection, it appears that it already found where I am based on my IP address. Click search. And this is what I like. I do like the fact that it does help you find jobs. Um, two days ago, I like this. See, this is information you look for. You want stuff. You want information that will help you make your decision. So I'm saying to myself, hey, two days ago this was posted. Let me go ahead and click on that. But again, this is the one search that, the one and only search that I find Mama useful for. I'll show you what I mean. So I'll go ahead and the first thing, I'll go back to the home page. So we notice here that this particular website is uh, renovation is underway. This might explain the buggy functionality. But uh, it has no advanced search, so that's a bit of a limitation. And we'll go ahead and search for Ron Paul. So we have search ahead functionality again. That seems pretty standard. And here, unlike uh, Dogpile, we have we have uh, we have hits. So we have a number of uh, how many results were returned, which is a little bit helpful. But it's it's uh, it's a start. It's a start. I mean, remember, Dogpile did not have that. So what else can we look for that will help us uh, give points to this uh, search engine? There's not much here. Um, I, that I don't like this one either because. Uh, the, the search result uh, page is very vanilla, does not give you a time when a particular article was updated or posted. Um, I'm sort of used to that by using Google. Um, it has no kind of rating system either. Uh, it, it does not give me the ability to uh, or give me that extra information that I need to want to click on something. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, skip to the, so so just as a recap here, I mean we have, we have search results, uh, it just doesn't give you all the supporting information I'm used to or I'm looking for. And I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to go ahead and skip to uh, IX quick. And this is my favorite, I'm so happy to get to it. Uh, the first thing I like is that it's a private search engine. Uh, well, well, it uh, dubs itself as the world's most private search engine. And basically, uh, when you make a search, it's not tied to your location. So if I make a search for Ron Paul, I have the option, this website allows uh, users the option to open in a proxy. So if I click this, that means it will open the search in from a, almost like a different node, like a opening page via proxy, via a different connection, and it's not being tied to my particular location or region. Uh, this is what a proxy does. It's going through a third party and still giving you what you want, but it's still directing the traffic as if you were somewhere else other than where you currently are. And I like that because I like privacy. I like to have privacy when I search. And as you can see, also every search term you open opens in a new window. 
so you keep your search results on hand. I like that as well. We also have advanced search, which some of the other meta search engines didn't have or had very little of. Uh, this does not have search by date, but which I think is a nice feature. But I can let it slide because this search has a lot more other functionality that is pretty good. So it's very good on privacy. Every search you make is uh, done through a proxy. Uh, I believe every search is done through a proxy. It's the only search engine that does not record your IP address. I think that's pretty good in a day and age where everything that we're doing is tracked. So I like that. But I think the search results are relevant as well. So I'll go ahead and do the same search, Ron Paul. So here we have a starring system. Uh, stars mean that for every search, major search engine that this particular URL appeared in the top 10 results, it earns a star. So that means with two stars, that means two of the major search engines have ranked this particular URL in their top 10. So that is extra information that helps me refine my search and see what I want to click on. Uh, we also have the, this is called the uh, power refinement. It's a setting that you can turn on and off up here. You can uh, go ahead and set enable power refinement. And what this does is that suppose I type selenium, which is a vitamin or mineral, one of them, but it's also a software program, um, programming language that allows automation to occur between a user and a system. Uh, and you can run automatic scripts without ever touching a computer. So because it also it has two uh, known uh, definitions, one being as a vitamin and then the other one being as a software programming language, we can use this X feature to narrow out what we're not so what we're not looking for. So I'm really looking for this type of uh, content, automation, web browser automation. So I have here uh, the dietary supplement fact sheet. So I want to eliminate this. So I'm going to click remove from search results. So now we see that all of the remaining of the results are pretty much referring to the uh, automation uh, software that I'm looking for, uh, which is uh, Selenium. Uh, and we have here all of the technical uh, links that I'm looking for. Anything that has to do with this portable software testing framework for web application is relevant to me. So that for me is very helpful. Then I can narrow my results set by just clicking this X and this check mark. So I hope that you found this review helpful. I did. My conclusion is that I would be I will be using iXQuick a lot more. It gives me the ability to, it, it, it performs well as a uh, meta search engine in that it gives me uh, an aggregate um, search result listing in one portal. Uh, I like a lot of the small features. It opens in a new page. It gives me the starring system. It gives me the privacy. It gives me valid search results, and uh, to me, iXQuick is the winner, and I will be bookmarking this in my Simbalu for frequent use. Uh, thanks for joining me in my review of Meta Search Engine. If you have any other questions or comments, go ahead and respond to the or add a comment, and I will like to respond to you. Uh, or if you have anything good to say about Mama or Dogpile, please also holler at me because I really don't find these two sites useful at all. I'm going to close them. And uh, in terms of meta search engines, 
I think I quick take the cake. Thanks for joining me.